Hi, my name is TJ and I work at Isotope and I'm here with Insight. Insight is our metering plugin. Uh, it's kind of an all-inclusive metering uh, plugin that you can use to uh, visualize your audio and see what's going on in there if you're working with a uh, specific uh, broadcast specification that you need to meet. Uh, Insight is perfect for that to be able to see where your audio is uh, as far as levels, in uh, balance with the spectrum analyzer, or in the phase meter. So here we have a bunch of different options that we can work with. We have a 3D spectrogram, which you may be familiar with from Ozone 5 Advanced, where you can zoom in and kind of see what's going on here. You can move it around and really kind of see your audio uh, in 3D, which is kind of cool. Uh, it also supports our meter tap system, where you can have uh, meter tap plugins routing audio from your buses into, excuse me, inside directly, and you can see your uh, your vocals versus your drums, see what the mix looks like. Uh, you can have one be a different color than the other, so you can have like your vocals be purple and your drums be yellow. You can see how the vocals pop out of the drums specifically. This specifically is just kind of an audio track that I have running, so it does, only has one color. You can change the colors if you want to and change different modes. So this one's more similar to RX2, which is our 2D spectrogram, which is kind of cool to see the different parts of this audio go through. So that's just a 3D spectrogram. There's a lot of things you can do with that just to look with your audio. I like just looking at my own audio because it's kind of mesmerizing. Uh, but there's also other options you can go in here. You have a spectrum analyzer that allows you to get a little more um, accurate, instantaneous uh, frequency analyzer. Uh, so you can kind of see what's going on in your audio instantly. You can adjust these options as well in the options menu so you can kind of tailor it how you want. And we also have a, uh, a phase analyzer for the stereo sound field. Um, you can adjust this for uh, this uh, alternate meter as well. And we also support 5.1. So, so this would actually break out into a 5.1 configuration. You can see where the balance lies, uh, where the actual volume lies, and see if there's any phase correlation issues. These would actually light up in red uh, if there's phase correlation issues, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, we also offer different views. Um, in our this, this uh, initial phase scope view, we offer different views, and this is one of my favorite ones, the uh, Leisure View, uh, so you can kind of see where everything is. This is kind of the more uh, narrow it is, the more mono it is, and the more wide it is. Uh, each one of those dots is a specific sample of your audio, so you can kind of see where the phases align. And on the right here, we have our phase meter, so you can, our phase correlation meter, so you can see how mono compatible it is. The further you go down to the negative one, uh, that kind of shows that you may have a phase issue you might want to look into in your mix and make sure it's mono compatible. And so back out of here, we have other uh, meters. We have our loudness history, which shows um, the integrated LUFS for broadcast audio. And so if you're working in post or working uh, to create content for broadcast of any sort, uh, you're going to need to make sure your audio is in, within the spec to the BS1770 BS metering and, and LUFS amounts for your specific region. And so we allow you to kind of uh, be able to see this uh, in the short term and the long term um, for your audio. You can make sure it's all in that spec. You can also see that in the meters here with the uh, momentary, the short term, and the integrated LUFS. And you can adjust the LUFS amount here to different specs. Uh, I believe the US spec is for negative 24 LUFS. And you can see if it goes yellow above that integrated spec, that means that it's out of that specification. So you might need to go back and make sure the loudness is correct. Then you have your, uh, your peak and RMS meters over here that you, can, you may be more familiar with the Ozone 5. And you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on in the audio. The cool thing about Insight is it is its own plugin. So if you're familiar with Ozone 5 Advanced and you had the meter bridge, you had to load that up in Ozone 5 uh, separately. Insight is its own plugin, so it can be just dedicated just to metering your audio without any sort of uh, issues with other plugins. Uh, but that, that's pretty much it. So um, hope you enjoyed.